How's it going guys? It is Els and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we are going to be doing my F1 2022 predictions. As I'm recording this, Charles Leclerc has just got himself his first pole position of the season. Maybe many more to come, but we will see in my predictions if I think that will happen or not. I'm very excited for this season, but honestly, this is probably not the best video I did because this is going to be one of the hardest seasons to predict. The whole midfield looks like they could finish anywhere, uh, and so it's going to be interesting to see where I've put some of these teams. Drop a like for some more F1 content. I've really got into the last few seasons and decided I want to do some of this kind of stuff on my channel and a bit of f1 2021 as well as you can see on the screen bit of a different style video but i wanted to try it out anyway so let me know if you enjoy this kind of format do drop a like as it really helps me out and do make sure you subscribe as well only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed and it really really helps me out so if you could just check that you are subscribed then it would really mean the world to me but without further ado let's get into the predictions so in my predictions i have a combination of random different questions that i'll be answering alongside obviously the big ones of where each team will finish in constructors and the top five in the driver's championship standings but without further ado let's get on to the random topics now the first thing i'm going to be predicting is the overtake award first new award introduced last season which was won by sebastian vettel and this season i think it's going to go to valtteri bottas obviously a very talented driver didn't always show his full skill at mercedes and played a bit of a wingman as well now the alfa romeo actually really doesn't look like a bad car so this could be a pretty bad prediction as the people who usually get the overtake awards start pretty low down and then finish pretty high up but if alfa romeo stays kind of towards the bottom of midfield i think they could have a chance although today they've looked really really strong with bottas finishing p6 today so this one might not be correct into the next prediction i am going to try and predict the best race obviously a bit of a subjective one but i feel like i could still try and conclude at the end of the season what i felt was the best race and I've got a few races here. I think Saudi Arabia could be a pretty good one as long as we avoid red flags. We thought it was going to be very difficult to overtake there last season and it was kind of difficult but we did see quite a few overtakes still and as well with the new regulations hopefully the cars will be able to follow closer through those fast sections. It's going to be a track that's very suited to the new cars with lots of fast corners so hopefully that will be a good race. I also think the return of Canada could be a pretty exciting one. Plenty of historic races there and I'm looking forward to seeing the one this year as well. The final one which I think will be the best race this season better than the other two will be Azerbaijan. Last year it cooked up an absolute cracker of a race and this year I think it may do the same. Very looking forward to see how the cars perform down here and uh, how they do during the race. The next thing I'm going to be predicting is the most improved driver from race 10 to the last race. Now I decided to pick race 10 as I feel like it's a good idea where you get the first kind of driver's standings kind of solidified that kind of time. Now round 10 this year is Silverstone as well so after that race we're going to see who is where. Then see who is the most improved after the final race i'm actually going silverstone this year so i'm very looking forward to seeing that just to mention that quickly the person who i think is going to be the most improved from race 10 to the last race will be guan yu zhou now obviously the alfa romeo as we've seen today could be pretty strong this year now guan yu zhou is a rookie so it's going to take a while for him to get used to the car and that's why i think maybe by race 10 he might not be that high but once he gets experience in the car then maybe he'll push up the standings as long as alfa romeo continue their good form so that is the end of a few random predictions i I decided to do let's see how they turn out at the end of the season but now let's get on to the constructors and the drivers predictions starting with the constructors now this is going to be impossible to predict i think everyone except ferrari Ed bull and mercedes could be basically anywhere in the midfield so it's going to be very difficult to predict but i'm going to give a go anyway now i think everyone will score points this season but in 10th place i've gone with aston martin obviously didn't have that good of a performance today in qualifying obviously vettel is out but still their car just doesn't look that great to be honest and i think they may struggle this season obviously Lawrence stroll with plenty of money they're looking to progress this year try and you know become a big force in the sport but i don't think this year will be the one for them in ninth place i've gone with the williams team alex i won with a good result today of p14 however i don't think the car looks too strong and i feel like they may struggle they may even come last i just thought aston martin would be a good bold prediction to go for and so i'm putting williams in ninth eighth place i've gone with alfa romeo now i think they look really strong at the moment but potentially the rookie guan yu zhou may not benefit them at the start of the season and maybe their current form will tail off towards the end although to be honest i think they look really strong so they could basically finish anywhere and it's been really difficult to predict this midfield as i've said in seventh place potentially a bit of a surprising one i've gone for alpha towery i think they look really really strong this season and obviously gasly is such a good driver and i'd love to know to, ha to have a good season but again i just think all of the teams that i'm going to say above them are probably in better shape right now although 
AlphaTauri are basically the most consistent team. They've always got Gasly up and around the points in P5, between P10 and P5. So I think they'll come P7 this year. Although, again, this could turn out to be a pretty bad prediction. In sixth place, I've gone with Haas F1 team. Fantastic start to the season for them compared with last season. With Magnussen in point scoring position from the grid and Mick with his highest qualifying of P12 as well. It's going to be very interesting to see how they do this year and I think everyone is behind them. They've had a very strong test and a very strong start to the season so hopefully that will continue for them. Now in fifth place I've gone with McLaren. Now obviously they have had an awful start to the season unfortunately for them. Off the Barcelona they were looking pretty strong but they've had a lot of issues and unfortunately for them they've been pretty poor in qualifying P18 and P13 I think today with a very good driver pairing as well. Now once they get their brake issues fixed and stuff like that they could actually perform quite highly I feel but for now I'm going to put them in P5. It's unfortunate for them that they've had such a poor start to the season and a bit of bad luck Ricardo having COVID. But yep, I don't think this season will be the season for them. In fourth place, I've gone with El Plan Alpine. Now, I think they will improve on last season's result of P5. However, I don't think they'll go any higher. They'll definitely be at the top of the midfield and probably score a lot of points. But the three teams I'm going to put above them, I think, will just have much better seasons. I think the team above them will be battling them for P3 in the constructors. And speaking of P3, I've predicted Mercedes. Now, obviously, not a great test. Looking pretty pretty poor so far this season maybe when they fix some more porpoising issues they may be up there in the championship fight but to be honest i don't see it this season unfortunately for them and i am a mercedes fan and a lewis hamilton fan which is disappointing but hopefully they can turn it around and maybe get themselves in the championship fight in p2 now this is going to decide who i've put in p1 and p2 for the constructors championship and i've put red bull in p2 ferrari to win the constructors i think obviously charles leclerc getting pole today carlos Sainz in p4 and i think sergio perez may let Red Bull down this year I think he's just been a little bit off the pace compared to obviously how good Verstappen is and Verstappen probably makes that car look better than it is just because he's such a good driver so I think Red Bull will come second in the constructors and Ferrari looking strong the TFOC will be happy with this one as I'm going to predict them to come P1 in the constructors moving on then to the top five of the drivers championship before we get into that I'm going to predict the bottom driver and I think, unfortunately, that Nicholas Latifi will come last. I think Albon will outperform in this season. And obviously, I do think he's a good driver, but it may be difficult to pick up points in that Williams this year. And obviously, not a good qualifying performance today. So that is who I think I'm going to put bottom. So now for the top five drivers, I've gone in P5 for George Russell. Obviously, Mercedes not looking too good this year. However, I think George Russell, once he gets to grips with the car, is a very, very talented driver. And it's going to be interesting to see how he does this year. And I really think he will do well this year. Maybe get his first race win as well. In P4, I've gone with Lewis. Now, as much as I would love him to get his eighth championship this year, I just don't think it's going to happen with the car, unfortunately. I think he'll still battle up front because he is such a talented driver. But unfortunately, I think P4 is going to be where he is. In P3, bit of an interesting one but I've gone for Verstappen. Now, I think he's going to be very, very strong this year, but I think the Ferrari may just be too strong for them this year, which is why I've gone Sainz in P2 and Leclerc to win the Drivers' Championship. I think he's a very talented driver. I think Sainz and Leclerc will battle for the championship this year. I just think that Sainz is a very talented driver and he will narrowly miss out to Leclerc, who has showed today that he's got pace with that pole position, and I think he's going to win the Drivers' Championship. So that is my predictions for the video. Feel free to play along in the comments and predict with the categories that I've said today what you think is going to happen. For the course of the season i'm really excited for the season and i'm sure there'll be more f1 videos coming soon to the channel thank you very much everyone for watching and i'll see you all later peace